Welcome to Probably Nothing, the assembly news of the last few days. I'm Alexander, back from vacation, and thought this would be a relaxing episode. Let's go! First, here are some things I forgot to mention in the last episode. The Parameter Task Force has been busy, of course, with the last update being 13.009 2023. The WASP node has also been updated several times, and there is now a release candidate 2 which also leads many to believe that EVM is about to launch. The Firefly wallets for IOTA and Shimmer have also been updated. Now we come to the latest news. First of all, Koei kicks things off. At the end of August, he published a quarterly report for the Growth Committee. This committee has a budget of Shimmer, 90.6 million, which is equivalent to 4.5 million, at a rate of 0.55. Four decisions were also made. 18.1 million shimmers will be reserved for strategic partnerships, a new website titled Tangleverse version 2, Ecosystem Hub, will be created. The operation of Block Scout Explorer for the Shimmer EVM will be ensured, and a report on the Asian market will be prepared. You today has published an article titled IOTA Closer to ETH, Compatibility as Shimmer Reaches Key Milestone. The article reports on the latest developments regarding the Shimmer EVM, which is about to be released, and the high demand considering the 1.4 million transactions. On 7.9, Dom posted a photo from the Emirates with the text that they are creating the magic there. On the same day, Wanderer found a new patent from Huawei. The goal of this patent is to provide a device and a node that will allow new data to be added to the system faster. IOTA is not presented as the solution in this context. Group Phi is partnering with TangleSwap. Those who own Void, Souls, or a Genesis NFT can look forward to standalone channels of the protocol. Staying with TanglePay, they have updated their website. It looks fresher, and you can now see some Group Phi images. Block Explorer has also received an update. The site looks much cleaner now. One day later, IOTA B also becomes a partner of Group Phi. Here a huge universe is built up so that every project is included from the beginning. Then on 912 came some surprising news and a blog post titled Replacing the Coordinator with a Validation Committee. The current coordinator system in IOTA is used to validate and secure transactions. However, there are some drawbacks, such as the ability to block transactions and the dependency on a single coordinator. To solve these problems, the coordinator is transformed into a decentralized validation committee. This committee consists of multiple validators that work together to validate transactions. This increases the security and availability of the network. However, this change is temporary as it will later be replaced by IOTA 2.0, which is based on a token-based, permissionless, and decentralized method. It is not yet known who will be part of this committee, but this is the first step toward coordicide that many would like to see. It's a huge step that has been celebrated all too briefly. Virtue Money has released a video to their website. Now everyone can try it out. It's a bit reminiscent of deeper finance with the alert system, but that's not a bad thing. It shows that a good system has been adopted. The Tangle Community Treasury, or Tangle DAO, has reached a small milestone. They finally got their non-profit registration in the Marshall Islands. Congratulations! Congratulations also go to Space5, which was mentioned in the German Blockchain Report 2023 and received the second largest funding. The largest funding was received by Februar.co. Nakama Labs published a Medium article titled the importance of oracles in providing reliable market data. Oracles are critical in Web3 because they connect blockchain applications with real-world data. There are two main types, price oracles and data oracles. They play a central role in DeFi by providing accurate market data for assets, collateralization of loans, and automated trading. A more technical article, IOTA Heroes is not idle either, they are diligently creating new items to help us have more fun while playing. There are now over 200 such in-game items. There are also a few glimpses from Token 2049. Koei has been busy collecting impressions. Garrett Jin 
was also represented there. Small news also from Matt Yager, at least an insight that he is at a conference at UN Youth. Perhaps more to come soon. Blockchain. Today's subscribers from Korea can look forward to an article about IOTA 2.0 and Shimmer. Hopefully there will be some good information. Philancore GmbH gives their contribution to the Identity.rs library. They add their own ECDSA, Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Algorithm, a cryptographic technique used in information security. This algorithm enables the generation of digital signatures that are used to authenticate and verify the integrity of data. This is also a big step as independent companies add their capabilities to the code, which is enriching for everyone and shows how vibrant the ecosystem and the project is. EU Blockchain published a paper titled Navigating the Blockchain Landscape, Demystifying DLT. This comprehensive paper clears up misconceptions between blockchains and DLT and emphasizes that education should come first to make the technology more secure. IOTA is mentioned often in this context with reference to the consensus mechanism, energy efficiency and identity solutions. The IOTA Foundation is getting an addition from a new foundation from the Emirates. There was a new blog post about this last week. IOTA plans to establish a new independent regulated foundation based in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, UAE, to expand its global reach and impact. This foundation is designed to support IOTA's growth and expansion worldwide. It will work closely with regulators and business leaders in the UAE and strengthen the UE's role as a technology and business leader. IOTA will continue to strive for a decentralized, open, permissionless, and unbiased digital ecosystem. The same is true for Shimmer, Dominic said. A surprising bit of news comes from Cisco. John Capobianco posts a video on YouTube showing how to create a digital image of network devices and record their configurations in an immutable ledger for audit and historical tracking purposes. He uses Shimmer for this and is very enthusiastic about it. He also mentions Build Part 5. As part of the process of storing network states and configurations in a distributed ledger. A few days later, he releases a second part, and even a third. John is very taken with how easily and fluidly everything works, and is pleasantly surprised by Shimmer and Build 5. This has received far too little attention. IOTMC has successfully run a test with the validators on the Shimmer testnet and they are ready for the mainnet. The validators are DLT3, Spice5, Soon Labs, Tango Swap, and Tango Treasury. With the launch on the mainnet, the bridge will support IOTA, Ethereum, and Wrapped Bitcoin. That was the first part of the news. You know a lot has been happening and I'm rushing to deliver more news as soon as possible after my vacation. With multiple languages, it takes longer to edit and create now, but this way we reach more IOTA and Shimmer people. Thanks for your support. Until the next episode, hopefully coming this week.